Back here in Washington, the talk is all about tax cuts. And here to talk about that is the contributing editor for the Loop21.com, Kelly Goff, and Bob Cusack, who is the managing editor for the Hill newspaper. So, uh, are these tax cuts going through? The big argument, of course, is the tax cuts for the uh, upper income folks. Republicans want that, Democrats don't. Uh, what do you think is going to happen? Well, I think the White House is going to go along with congressional Republicans. They'll get some uh, things that they want, like the, the U.S.-Russia arms treaty that's been pending for a long time. They'll also get an extension of unemployment benefits. But Nancy Pelosi is not going to be happy with this deal because it's going, and we're going to have a Democratic Congress for the moment, certainly, and a Democratic White House extending all of the Bush tax cuts likely for two years. They have votes tomorrow in the Senate. Those measures are Democratic measures. They don't have the votes to pass. We saw it in the House that didn't that had the votes to pass the House, but it's not going anywhere in the Senate. So they've got to strike a deal. Republicans Republicans have the momentum, and that's what they're going to get. They're going to extension of all the tax, including the wealthy tax cuts. But so I guess the way the president will get around uh, his statements that he is totally opposed to permanent tax cuts for the upper income people, these will be temporary tax cuts. That's right. That's right. Temporary. It, it is temporary, but it also, I think, presents him with a political problem if it is two years, because then we're having this debate again in two years during the presidential. Well, look, Bill Cosby famously said that if everyone's happy with what you're doing, then you're doing something wrong. And the good news is about what we're going to end up seeing is that neither Democrats are going to be happy or Republicans are going to be happy with the, with the ultimate outcome. You have uh, Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner and White House Budget Director Jack Lew trying to broker this deal. And what they're trying to broker is that you'll have um, an extension of the tax cuts for two years, uh, all of them, and then an extension of federal unemployment benefits for one year. That's what they're trying to go for. Now, whether or not we're going to ultimately see that happen, that's still the, the looming question mark but basically you have you have them acknowledging that probably neither side is going to be ultimately happy with the outcome so they might as well go ahead and settle for for something that's better than nothing but that's that's what the deal is but uh, I mean now there's going to be a vote in the what the Senate tomorrow Saturday. what happens on that well, you know, they're trying to, to do cloture to get to, to get around this uh, filibuster that's been prevent, preventing things from going to the floor and look you know, I, I know that you said that the Republicans have the momentum. I will say this, that you are looking at a couple of million people who are going to run out of these unemployment benefits by Christmas time. That's not exactly, you know, a, a positive thing to have going for your party to be blamed for a bunch of people not being able to stuff their kids' Christmas stockings because mom and dad have no money, you know. And so I, I don't know that I necessarily agree that from an image perspective that, that the momentum really is on Republican side because they don't want to end up looking like Scrooge. Mm -hmm. well, well, let's just talk from a realistic side. Uh, is this going to pass before this lame duck session is out this year? Because all of the tax cuts for everybody expire at the end of this year. Oh, I, I think so, Bob. I think that the White House is very <sighs> intent on making sure a tax cut measure because uh, there are advisors at the White House who acknowledge, and Peter Orzag, former budget director, has said that we should extend all the, the tax cuts, including for the wealthy, especially when the ailing economy uh, needs so much help. So uh, I think we will get a deal. It could be close to Christmas Eve, maybe, but we'll get a deal. And one thing we're forgetting, too, really quickly, is that the, the treaty is going to take at least a week. The Republicans this have said, the, well, the, nuclear the nuclear arms, arms, arms treaty. The, treaty. treaty. the Republicans have been very clear and said, we want at least a week to go over this and think about that. So that makes time of the essence, because they're not even going to get to that until the tax cut issue is resolved. So the clock is really ticking. I mean, they've really got to, to reach a resolution in the early part of next week for everyone to get things done by Christmas time. You think they'll get that too? But you think, you know. uh, both of you seem to think that the START treaty is going to be part of this deal. Mm -hmm. I mean, Right. Well, you know, it's always the case with Washington. You want to yeah. talk about war, you got to talk about college tuition tax credits, right? Somehow they all end up going together, even though it doesn't make any sense. All right. Well, thank you all both for that. It's very enlightening.